Devin, I'm going more out of my gourd on Cook's Corner today. <laughs> We're joined by Kath from Blue Moon Evolution out in Exeter. That's uh, right. You brought in some really cool things that you're yes. doing. Uh, I've never heard of anybody doing this, but let okay, me, let we're me doing it. We're yeah, doing we're it because do it. really, I want to teach you a little bit about the food, but also a really simple method that I've adopted to handle these kind of challenging winter squashes. Yeah. And actually, I want to, this is called the Long Island Cheese Pumpkin. It was okay. actually found by the early settlers when they really? came here. Um, it was our original pie pumpkin, but also used to craft beer in the early times, and I think it's what helped up. Get through the winter more than the squash. <laughs> so the Long Island cheese pumpkin. Okay. We have this beautiful heirloom long pie pumpkin. I've never seen one of those. Okay. And then this is really what we call our sugar pumpkin. This is our traditional Four pumpkin choice. today. Yeah. Um, and but what we're, we're going to talk about today is the butternut. And the butternut is actually uh, comes from blending the gooseneck squash with other varieties. You can kind of see the color of the skin, Very like similar, the old. Yeah traditional Long Island cheese pumpkin. Okay. So butternut came, it's called the Waltham butternut, came from Waltham, Mass. Yep. In the 1940s, Mr. Charles Liggett created this from blending seeds, and he wanted an economical, hard-storing mm. squash. But Thank is you, it a, chal yep. <laughs> right? a challenge to peel? Nobody likes to peel them. And very tough to and cut. And they're tough to cut because yeah. they wobble. So what I'm going to share with you today is a simple method that I yeah, have really? used to approach these. And I call okay. it roast it whole. Right. So you take your whole sugar pie pumpkin, your whole butternut squash, actually do onion and garlic too. You're little right oil. Yep. Yeah, he pierced it a couple of times to create some vent holes. And you throw it in the oven for an hour and a half. Okay. And this beautiful squash, actually I think it enhances the flavor because it caramelizes it. So you let it cool for about half an hour, and you can do Look this for your is, huh? you can do this for your dinner meal, yep. and have it for your One minute left here. Okay. And then simply you just get the seeds out of there, which is really the chore of when you're it's raw and you're scraping it. So you've got this gorgeous. Think of how easy that is compared to when you have to do it when it's not. Right. Yeah. So then you just kind of with your spoon scrape it out, and also in the economy of it, you can see that this peel is really paper thin, no yep. waste. Huh. So there is your meat to Very either make a beautiful okay. squash pie, <gasps> squash really cake, okay. um, pumpkin pie. How easy is that? And really as easy as that. So holiday time, do it the night before. And you Keep save it a lot simple. Of time. Yeah. May have your dinner ready, your, your squash ready to go for your Thanksgiving feast. I did include a little yeah. maple ginger addition on the recipe with this, so you could jazz it up a jazz little bit if you want, if you want to. Real so, quick, Blue Moon Evolution. Yes. Where, where is We're it in downtown Canada? Exeter. Yep. Celebrated our 20 year anniversary this year. We are committed to local seasonal yep. uh, organic fare, so supporting our local farmers with their fall harvest right. um, is something that we like to do. Right, so, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great ideas right here. Thank yeah, you. Give you some time Keep in the kitchen. <laughs> that does it for us.